Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my little mini Inktober series, uh, episode 5. I'm happy to report that I'm finally not sick anymore. I was starting to wonder if maybe I would sound uh, like just garbage for this whole series, but no, I'm good now. Everything's good. Um, I'm, I'm still like coughing every now and again, but I'm finally like, I'm definitely getting better now for sure. Um, I've never had a cold hang on that long. Um, but it's it's gone now. It's in the past. Um, but I gave it to my husband, so... I mean, I didn't mean to, but it was about to happen. Um, but yeah, anyway. This time... Well, a nice thing about this series is, like, I didn't go out and buy anything. I just kind of have these things because I wanted to try them, you know? Um, if, if there's anything out there that I'm not, like shy about spending my money on its art supplies um so i had like a lot of ink and just fun stuff around to do this stuff with um and it's just been nice to get to know my supplies better um and you know the first thing is in older videos you'll see i used a lot of like dr ph martin's inks and stuff and i i love them i still have them of course um it's just they're like way bulkier than just having my watercolor palette out um like it, it's you got to take all the bottles out and like bring them to your desk and like put them away when you're done and like who knows how much time you have to draw that day you know so i don't use them as often as i should but i got the black out for this just because it has an eyedropper and i wanted to see if i could like control how dark the ink was better with eyedroppers and stuff um so yeah that's what i did and i forgot how like dark and nice this ink is because the ink i usually use is like a cheaper kind it's it, it's not waterproof well i don't think that ph martin's ink is either um but i got it for my uh, pentel brush pen because i don't want to buy refills because those are very expensive for no reason um so i just refill it with like a syringe and I got this non-waterproof ink because apparently if you get waterproof ink you run the risk of like jamming the pen up and I don't I didn't want to risk that considering like I went out of my way to buy syringes and like ink in bulk for it like I don't want to jam it um and I have to buy another one because the whole point of that ordeal was to save money um so yeah I've been using that just because I have so much more of it and like I can just use it more liberally and I don't know um, but for this one, I wanted more control, so I went to that and, like, I forgot how dark it was. It's very just black, um, and it's not so streaky, uh, which is very nice. Very, very nice, because I'm not, like, extremely skilled with ink yet. Um, so yeah, it was fun to play with it. Definitely, like, weird. Like, you can- I was using paint water, like, the next episode that's coming- um, I was using paint water as, like, dirty water that I would, like, clean up my brush in as, like, everything, basically. So, like, the next drawing, the entire thing is done with paint water. That's how potent this ink is. Like, I definitely underestimated it. Um, but it was fun, fun to use. Um, so this, this drawing is of a skinwalker, um, which I found out about through the Jenna Jillian podcast, uh, this episode's going up on Sunday. So, like, the most recent one that's up right now, they read, like, horror stories, like, real, like, allegedly real life horror stories. And, like, Skinwalkers came up. And they just read more and more stories. And then I got curious and I Googled some stuff. And I've been on Reddit, like, reading all about the Skinwalkers. And, oh, it's definitely really interesting to me and, like, really creepy. Um... I really like it. I don't know if I believe in them. I've never encountered anything like that in my life, but you know, I never got to camp much just cause you know, my mom doesn't like camping and my, my dad wouldn't like want to go camping without my mom cause that's just lame, you know? Um, so yeah, I never got to spend that much time in the woods. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Also, I don't think I live anywhere near like a reservation or anything. So yeah, but it's just a really cool thing. Um, so there's they i guess they can like manifest well not manifest but like they can present as many different things um but most of the time people say that they look like wrong and 
like, I don't know, they just don't look right. So I wanted to draw, do one as like a hyena. Uh, that's not like the, a really common thing for them to like appear as, but like I've never drawn a hyena before and I like a coyote is like too wolf-like and I didn't feel like drawing a wolf. So yeah, I drew a hyena. And uh, yeah, I, I, his like legs are too long and like weird looking uh, just because I wanted to throw the anatomy off just so it would look creepier. But as you can see, I'm not like a master at creepy stuff, so it doesn't look all that creepy, but that's okay. Um, originally, I was going to color his eye gold just because they are apparently like they have like yellow eyes and that like kind of glow if you shine a light at them. Um, but yeah, I decided that that would mess it up just because I I was gonna do it at the end but I don't know I didn't want to I didn't want to risk like screwing it up because I like how this one turned out um and then I busted out this white ink that I got a while ago to because I wasn't like satisfied with how white the white gel pens are I have the Uniball Signo white gel pens which is like what people have reported is like the best one um and they're just not as white as uh you know, they're not, they're not perfect, um, and I was just on the hunt for something, like, closer to perfect, so I just got this Windsor & Newton white ink, and it's definitely not perfect, but it does look really cool, and you can layer it and, like, play with it in, like, really interesting ways, um, which I did, and, uh, yeah, I do like how it turned out. I, like, at first I didn't like it because it looked like he was kind of floating in the middle of nowhere and nothing was really going on, but, like, I feel like the white ink really added to this picture, and it was fun very fun uh, I do I do like how this turned out it doesn't look like disgusting because apparently they're like they wear skin I guess and they just apparently smell terrible and look terrible and I just did not want to go that far um, I didn't want to draw anything like disgusting and hard to look at so yeah maybe I should maybe I should play around with that more because I don't know, you could really do anything with this type of concept just because, you know, they manifest as many, many different things. I don't know, am I cursing myself for drawing a skinwalker and then putting it on the internet? I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know if one comes to my house. Uh, <sighs> but yeah, it's definitely a cool, uh, like, lore if you guys like that kind of thing. Uh, but don't, don't Google it if you're, like, easily creeped out and stuff because you won't sleep at night it's, it's very unsettling um but that's pretty much all i have to say about this one so i guess i'll just uh leave it off um i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it and i'll see you guys for the next one